friends. This is Y from the Bergs Run Disney. I just wanted to say hello to everyone and give you a little introduction and tell you a little about our why and why we decided to start this YouTube channel. So here goes. We're just a couple of empty nesters. We have three children who are grown and gone. We don't have any grands yet. And we are passionate about running, coffee, good food, and everything Disney. We decided we'd like to video our running and running related shenanigans to look at later and we thought you might like them too. Most of the running related videos that we see out there are young springy people and fast and we are not. So back to our why. In July 2016 we were in the backyard grilling on the patio on a gorgeous day having a great time and within an hour I was in the back of an ambulance having a massive heart attack. There was no warning. I was not sick. In fact, just a week prior I was at primary care for my annual physical and everything was perfect. The only reason that the cardiologist could come up with for why I had this heart attack, because there was no heart damage at all, even after the attack, was the 42 years of smoking. However, this did not stop me from the dirty habit of smoking. It took a lot of depression and two years to get me to stop smoking. So in June of 2018, I saw a movie on Netflix from Fat to Finish Line. It's actually a documentary where 12 people of varying sizes and shapes had lost some significant amounts of weight or were in the process, they all came together in Florida to run a Ragnar race. It was really a good movie and it inspired me to want to start running. So I came home and I mentioned it to Am and he agreed to do it with me. Surprise! So I had to quit smoking because you can't run and smoke at the same time. And we've been running ever since. We found virtual races at first to keep us motivated. And that's when we found the Disney virtual races. And that's when my best friend encouraged us to use the Disney virtual races to train for a real Disney half marathon on property. What? There's such a thing? We love Disney, but we never knew about these races and never had been on property for one. We were in and the training started. Now we love that 13.1 distance. Well, during the pandemic, I was handed a diagnosis that will forever change my life. Let me first say that I am predisposed by genetics to several health conditions, one of those being diabetes, which I've been struggling with keeping at bay for a few years now. I don't have it, but I have prediabetes. This has affected my kidneys, and I have been diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, stage 3A. I don't know why they call it a disease, and I don't understand the stages. It's stage 1, stage 2, stage 3A, stage 3B, stage 4, and stage 5. There is no cure, but with proper diet and care, progression can be slowed, and I'm working on the slowing of it. But eventually, dialysis is in the future. We love to cook, and that's a good thing, as many nutrients are broken down in your kidneys and are not as good as they once were for me. We can control what goes into our food and even make things taste better for less money. I like the less money part. We'll get through this, and we'll continue to do what we do as often as we do for as long as we can. We may be getting old, but we're not out. So in making these videos, we're able to go and look back and see the progress that we've made as older individuals starting running in our 50s. Um, and then maybe um, through our running shenanigans, as I call them, maybe we can help get somebody else motivated to run um, if we can do it, anyone can do it. And with all of the health conditions that I have, we haven't talked about M yet, but 
with all of the health conditions I have, and I'm still moving and shaking, um, maybe somebody else will say, well, maybe I can do that too. So I hope that somebody else can be inspired by what we're doing. But I hope that someday I'll be able to look back and see all of the things that I was able to do. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening. And we'll see you in the next journey.